hate evil. The Bible goes further to say that you should hate the appearance of evil. <laughs> so even if it looks like it's evil, stay away from it. Well, some people say, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. No, if it looks evil, have nothing to do with it. I'm talking about the character of Christ. The Bible said that Christ was anointed with an anointing above his fellows because he loved righteousness and he hated iniquity. That's how he got an outstanding anointing. He hated iniquity. Believers need hatred in this hour for, the, for sin. Hatred for the things of the world. Hatred for the systems of the world that have tried to grip the church and tell us how to have church. I mean, the last time I checked, if we just worship God, his glory would come down and everybody would be happy. So why do we keep imposing a structure that doesn't promote worship? Help me, Lord. Why, why would we? Why would we keep doing stuff that's dry, that's not helping people, that's not yeah. healing people? Break the tradition. Worship God till his presence come down. The preacher will preach much more effectively if the church is in worship. And I'm not talking about the songs that you prepared from a week ago to sing this Sunday. I mean, let the Spirit of God give you a song, and he might even give you a new song in the middle of it, if you are open to prophetic songs, open for the Holy Ghost to just take the service. Mm -hmm. We need preachers who don't just demand to have their time. We need preachers who demand, demand for God to have his time, and for God to get his worship, and for God to get his praise. It's not, it's not, the, pre, it's not the pastor show. It's not, it's not the preacher shows. When we come together, yes, the word is important, but guess what? God will do so much through worship. People will get healed through worship. The, the hardness of the heart, broken, melted through worship when the glory of God comes in our services. All that men would truly praise the Lord.